Hello. <laughs> I don't often do um, videos outside of my regular readings that I do weekly. And so I thought it's time I um, did a little pep talk <laughs> video, <clears throat> just a short one, because um, a lot of people sort of um, mention and oftentimes sort of in passing that they're feeling out of sync and that they're feeling um, somehow either stumped or not quite as powerful as normal. So I just wanted to say it is perfectly okay to feel out of sync. It is also perfectly okay to not feel perfectly okay, right? So pat yourself on the back and allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel. And please remember at this point in time, we still have four planets in retrograde. One of them is Mercury, it goes direct on the 18th, which is the planet of communication. So it is also difficult at this point in time to properly express what's going on. That's number one. Then Venus is in um, retrograde, which is the planet of love. So there's also areas where you may feel, you know, um, the person I'm with or the person I want to be with, they don't understand me at this point in time. <clears throat> so retrograde has loads of layers, while retrogradation is quite a, a regular thing. Energetically speaking, has loads of layers. And then the other issue on top of it all is that both the fifth and the sixth planet, namely Jupiter and Saturn, um, the largest and second largest of our planets, and they are outer planets, are also both in retrograde. Now, both Saturn and Jupiter are planets that are, astrologically speaking, about people's successes and about people's um, tendencies, what to do next, if that makes sense. Oftentimes they can be in, in opposition. So both of these, <coughs> where am I going here? I'm going to kick ass um, energies, are also in retrograde, right? So October, energetically speaking, isn't the strongest month. Things can only get better. Bottom line is, Give yourself a pep talk, allow yourself to go like, yeah, okay, right? Um, I come from the stars and the stars are um, affected by the movement of the planets. And at this point in time, there are four planets still in retrograde and it was seven at some stage, <laughs> bloody hell, right? So all I um, like to say to you is to not despair because there's no reason to. We're heading towards the month of November. November is the 11th month. 11 is a master number. And so the energy of November, by having the energy of a much stronger number than regularly attached to it, will already uh, make it a more powerful month to um, manifest and to um, look into where it is you want to go. So please, please, please don't despair, right? Why don't you have a piece of cake, cup of coffee, cup of tea, right? Um, nurture yourself, really, really important because the other thing that I'm getting, energetically speaking, when so many planet are, planets are in retrograde is that people also physically don't feel well. And so remember that all planets, every star sign has a, a governing planet. They're called ruling planets, but I don't, I don't want to be ruled. <laughs> <coughs> so I call them governing planets and they all had to become planets first and they started out as a fluid or in a fluid state and then eventually with gravity and electromagnetic fields they finally reached that spherical form which turned them into a proper planet who could hold the energy that sits within. And yet, when you look at many planets, their core is still fluid, is still liquid, right? So they're evolving just like you're evolving, right? And allow yourself to look at evolution as a word <clears throat> with just the knowledge that none of us, neither of us, no matter what, you, what you're looking at, no matter what being you're looking at, they're not finished. You're not finished. 
you are still evolving. There are still changes that will come your way. There are still changes you can make. And that can sometimes bring insecurity to people. And all I want to say to you right now is because of the heavy retrogradation that is happening um, with the four planets still, um, it is much harder at this point in time <clears throat> to make proper sense of what's going on around you. My, my tip to you would be to remember that on the 20th um, of October we have a full moon. And full moon energy is really powerful. Um, so do a ritual on the 20th. Um, look at what can you do on that date to properly um, put yourself forward and push forward and push through things. It is, energetically speaking, possibly the most powerful day of the month, the 20th of October. Right? Okay, anyway, just want to wanna say to you, it is perfectly normal and perfectly fine to not feel okay. Please, please, please look after yourself, nurture yourself. And um, yeah, see you soon.